Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back to The Breakfast Club. If you are just tuning in, this is uh, episode 13 of this series. If you want to check out some of our previous videos, head on over to our YouTube channel and you can check out the playlist Breakfast Club. You bet. I made it back. Yay. That was a journey and a half. <laughs> um, I gotta say, New Brunswick is a beautiful province. If you've never been there, you gotta check it out. Same with Quebec. Everyone was amazing. Everyone was super friendly. Uh, the language barrier for myself, I was a little bit concerned because it would be a little bit difficult going to Quebec. I don't know French. I am half French, but I know <laughs> no French, which doesn't help. But everyone was super accommodating. And if, they, they, if there was any barrier where they couldn't really communicate, they made sure someone could do it. So it was absolutely amazing being there. Everyone was super friendly. What were you there for? Oh, right. Why <laughs> I was there. Ipswich Nationals went super well. Uh, what did I? 21st in standard. So, haha. -ha. Nice job. Not bad. Yep. Not bad. I'll take it. 102nd overall. But there was a couple shooters there that were from the U.S. and they absolutely smoked it. So they did really good. <laughs> Completely threw everyone off in the in the statistics because they were too good. So. <laughs> well, that'll happen. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, I was saying Quebec's an awesome place. Uh, if you haven't been there, Quebec City is amazing. Go check it out. Um, yeah, the adventure was super. You know, shooting. We were at SummerSlam, which. Trevor uh, and your team, amazing match. I definitely want to go next year. I think you already have dates for that. Nationals is in Ontario next year, so I think we'll be doing that again. That'd be cool. Yeah. Everything was super all the way until, actually, right off the bat, I think there was a post. <laughs> yeah, we um, did. I shared your post about yeah. your little mishap at the airport. <laughs> I have horrible Whoopsies. luck flying. There was a hole in my range bag, and a couple rounds actually got into the lining of the darn thing. So that, that got caught right off the bat. Uh, the uh, security at the Winnipeg airport were really good. We got them out of there, got my coffee flight, away I went. On the way back, that was a little bit different. Uh, I won't go into a lot of details. I, it's a super long story. Uh, <laughs> but had a lot of trouble with um, the airline I was flying with and the security at uh, the Quebec City airport. Uh, they were super. They are really polite and everything. The airline, uh, I was going through with a bunch of different things. They were saying I had things in my bag and like I said, long story. It was all got all sorted out. I had to miss one of my flights. You got uh, put on a flight with a ticket where there was no seat. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. They, <laughs> I got put on a plane with a ticket with a seat number that didn't exist, <laughs> which was super. Uh, that was kind of interesting. <laughs> uh... But when it came to the end, and I sat down in the next seat, and by the time everyone filled the plane up, I was standing in the back and was like, <laughs> I, was, I have to sit somewhere. <laughs> I'm not getting off this plane. <laughs> yeah, I want to go home. <laughs> so that, yeah, so it's the, uh, the fun and games of traveling with firearms yep. or anything like that. The, the frustrating part on the way home, I didn't have any firearms or ammunition with me. I had shipped them back because uh, with Wolverine, we have a bunch of other things that we were shipping back out of Quebec anyway. So I thought it'd be easier on myself <laughs> to not have my firearms or ammunition on me and I shipped them. And apparently that made it way more difficult. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that, uh, we'll see the if I can get into journey. that. Yeah. <laughs> I made it home. I was super glad to be home. <laughs> yeah, that's all said and done. It was an amazing trip. Um, yeah, it's just flying with firearms and it's just fun. <laughs> yeah, it definitely brings some extra challenges to an already challenging atmosphere yeah. sometimes. <laughs> so, yeah, well, what's been going on here? I've been gone. You were back last week. Yeah, I was here last week. You guys saw my my solo video. Which bit. the wall looked like it was good. <laughs> yeah, the wall looked good. It really did. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, we'll definitely it more later. challenging <laughs> talking to a camera by yourself. Um, it took me far more tries than it should have. <laughs> so thank you guys uh, for bearing with me on that one. I'm going to turn around and do that to Tyson in a couple weeks here. He, we're not quite sure how that's going to work. I'm gone for a week, so. Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be a video. <laughs> We're, we gotta you can't start. tell me what I can't do. <laughs> oh, God. Maybe I won't give you the password to YouTube. <laughs> yeah, so we're not quite sure what we'll do with that. Um, one thing that did happen, though, that we're excited about, we sold out of our patches. Yes! So, Woo! I mean, we've been all over social media with that. We are just really excited. Um, we, you know, we thank you again. We've 
just can't thank everyone enough yeah. for supporting this promo every year. We just love watching the entire community come together and help us make that happen. So very excited. Yeah. Uh, the winners for all the prizes have been posted um, to Facebook. Facebook, Instagram, CGN, and Instagram. Yeah. Uh, the only one I skipped was Reddit. Uh, I haven't done anything okay. there. but um, um, They will be posted to the patch promo page on the Wolverine Days yeah. portion of our website as well. So if you want to check those out, I think everybody was pretty excited. Yeah, and like you said, this is the biggest one we've done. Uh, 1,500 patches is not a small that's, feat. No, so that's no small feat. Two, two organizations got 15,000, and that's absolutely amazing. You guys are awesome. Yeah. The only thing I was disappointed about <laughs> I'm a, I am disappointed, but I'm really happy for all the winners. No one picked the full auto day. What? Yeah. I wanted to go shoot full autos. I'm like, <laughs> help someone out. I mean, let, let them go shoot full yeah, autos. Yeah. And I would totally be there and just enjoy it. But <laughs> Maybe next year we'll do it again and see. I'm thinking so, because yeah. that's just going to be a main prize. Because yeah. it's an experience of a lifetime. You can either pay for a memory or you get one, right? Yeah. So. Whatever works for you. We're just happy that... Everybody was happy with the options they oh, got. Yeah. I'm, you know, we'll we'll have to wait another year. But yeah. <laughs> well. We do, well do. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, yeah. Okay. So last week I had mentioned that we got a shipment of Caltech in, and uh, it was something that we haven't seen in a while. I didn't have the products ready to go, nor do I know anywhere near enough about them. So I held off on that. <laughs> and now this week Tyson is gonna run through. Some info on those. Boom! A lot of bull pups, things that are backwards around here. Yeah, Keltec, like you said, it's been years since we've uh, we've had Keltec. Uh, I want to say maybe when we first started, we had a couple. Yeah. Or uh, did we even? I, eight years ago, we yeah. had we had some products here, um, and then at the time there was a little bit of teething issues, like the SU16s, and right. then yeah, those it's just, were. It's been a while. So it's been a long time. Um, but yeah, now we've got um, the the lineup back. So we got the RDB, the RFB, and the KSG. Boom! Didn't screw those up because <laughs> a lot of acronyms. I'm not going to tell you what they mean because rearward. No, I'm not going to try. Re re rearward? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, something about ejection. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, in the comments, tell me what they mean. Actually, could you do that for me? RDB. I want to know what it means. RFB and. KSG. I want to know what the acronyms are because that I'm not familiar right now actually so that'd be super but yeah obviously they are bullpup firearms which if anyone's not familiar with what a bullpup is uh, so with a bullpup firearm obviously as you can see magazines back here and triggers up here which is backwards yeah, to right. uh, the more conventional rifles like an AR-15 or anything like that so essentially all the mechanisms and the action are rearward of the trigger and the rest of it. So you can actually get everything moved to the back. You have a action bar moving forward for your trigger. So you can keep everything to the rear. Way more compact. You're running an 18, over an 18.6 inch barrel here. And you know, you're, you're running at uh, quite a bit less of a length than you know, a traditional firearm. So you're keeping everything back here a lot more closer to the body. It, it balances a little bit better for a lot of people. I'm not a big fan of bull pups. I've, an AR-15 shooter, but uh, they do have a place in the world here, and they are not new technology, but newer in the newer grand scheme of in things. the grand scheme of things. Definitely, <laughs> it's not a uh, brand new thing, but it, it is very innovative, and it is a, a direction that a lot of companies have gone in. And like I said, it's you're getting a lot of the package and a lot less of the size, so uh, they're pretty cool. And it, it actually really helps, especially for you being a lefty, <laughs> because the RDB and RFB and KSG are all ambidextrous. Because you'll see on this one, there is no ejection port on either side. It ejects downwards. So, right or left-handed, the controls are easy peasy. There we go. And it doesn't matter if you're left, right or left. Yeah, okay. So we have all these guys in stock right yeah. now on the website. Um, I believe I put pictures up of them. Not sure if the full details are up there yet, but we'll try to make sure that that's... We'll make sure that's done. Yeah. But yeah, no, they're all online. Super awesome. The RDB, actually, for the price of the RDB, that's a stellar rifle for uh, $15.50. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so that's our little featured section for this video. Um, we had talked about a couple videos now along the lines of our value package items. We yeah. were gonna put together how to get into IPSC 
start it, how to start out getting into Ipsit. Getting into it, yeah. Um, so we're going to try to have that put together for you next week, and we're kind of brainstorming. We might have some range footage as well, if we can get that get that done. So actually, I'm going to skip back like three subjects here about my <laughs> adventure, because I totally forgot about this. Getting into Ipsit. Oh, so close. <laughs> uh, this is... Uh, so I'm horrible at remembering things, terrible memory, uh, but... When we were at um, at Ipsic Nationals, we were on a military base, so everything had to be kind of cart like your security everywhere. You had to be in, out, shuttled. Uh, for us being vendors, we got a, our own vehicles, and we had to essentially drive everything in, set up our stuff, and have everything there. And also during that, I was competing there as well, so I had to have my own gear along with everything for Wolverine that we could uh, sell and display and everything like that. Came to the last day. <laughs> it was pouring rain. It was noon. It was my turn to shoot, and I'm like, okay. Good luck, man. I'm out of the booth. I'm going to go start shooting. So I grabbed all my gear. I caught a ride over to the other other range that I had to be at. Got set up. Got all my gear ready, except for I was missing my belt, which I thought was in the car. So <laughs> caught another ride to get back to the other range because they're over a kilometer apart. Got back there. Did not have a belt on me. Apparently, I left it in our uh, our house, which is over an hour away. <laughs> so well, if you're getting in the Ipsic, <laughs> to the point of my story, see our speed gear absolutely amazing because I built an entire rig in less than three minutes there with all CR speed stuff that we had uh, had there with us so the CR speed belts holsters pouches you can have that set up and adjusted for whatever firearm you're shooting within five minutes I, I literally did it because I was the first one up <laughs> so <laughs> you had to I had to I was uh, rigging this thing up real quick <laughs> Just another component to your journey. Exactly. It was, <laughs> it was an eventful trip. <laughs> yeah, so we'll get into uh, how to get into um, Ipsic and everything like that with the rig and firearms. And like we had said last time, I don't really want to start suggesting firearms that you get into because yeah. it's all opinion based. There's lots of divisions. Try them all, really. Yeah. There's, there's so many fun ways to do it. But yeah, I'm hoping I'm going to get something set up for Andrea here. <laughs> We're gonna. I'm gonna set up a my couple debut. stages. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna uh, set up a couple stages, hopefully, and we'll shoot some Ipsic in uh, one of the videos coming up. So we'll do that in conjunction with getting into it. So maybe. <laughs> Stones happening. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that is everything for you today. We want to end this video with a question, and we just want to know what your thoughts are on the bullpup platform. You like it? You dislike it? You neutral? Have you shot one before? Would you like to shoot one? Just let us know what you guys think. Yeah, there's tons of different ones. Like, uh, obviously our highlight today is uh, Keltec, which is primarily a lot of bullpup firearms. But, you know, there's IWI, and this thing's still here if anyone's after it. <laughs> but, no, there's a bunch of different ones. And as I had mentioned, I'm more of a conventional shooter. I like uh, the conventional rifle. It just handles better for myself. But I know a lot of guys who are running bullpups. Mm -hmm. And being non-restricted, that compact, it's really cool. It's awesome. Uh, so, yeah, let us yeah. know what you think. Yeah, if you like Definitely. them, why? If you don't, why? Just throw us some comments. Yeah. We'd like to hear your thoughts. Okay, that's all we got. Thanks for watching. Don't forget about us.